Si quieres comprar los mejores juegos a los mejores precios y ayudar al canal, puedes hacerlo en la web de G2A utilizando el enlace en la caja de descripción. Y trata siempre de comprar con Shield para comprar con garantía. Un saludo. Muy buenas a todos, gente, ¿cómo estáis? Bienvenidos de nuevo al canal, bienvenidos a otro capítulo más del Let's Play de Dead Synchronicity. Como siempre, antes de comenzar, robaros un instante para daros las gracias. Gracias por estar ahí y simplemente deseo que pasemos un buen rato en compañía de Michael, ¿no? El protagonista de esta terrible historia que nos presenta Dead Synchronicity. Continuamos en uh, los niveles inferiores de esta especie de, de zona médica, donde realmente pues vienen los disueltos realmente a morir. Un lugar realmente terrorífico y tétrico. Nos encontramos cerca de la enfermera Uma que recordáis que era la hija de, del anciano al que ayudamos en, en la ciudad y eh, tenemos cosillas por hacer tenemos cosillas que ver en esta, en esta especie de zona de, de taquillas y vamos a comenzar, lo primero recordáis que habíamos utilizado la barrilla para uh, romper el cristal en este mueble y aquí parece que morfina en el medio de todo el broken glass y stored en el compartment para painkillers hay un vial labeled oral morphine morfina, obviamente es una morfina que nos va a venir de lujo para darse la Misha, ¿eh? la esposa del, uh, del topo, que nos va a dar dinero y con ese dinero vamos a poder ir a ver a Rose, que al parecer pues tiene, tiene nuestras ropas y tiene información importante. O sea que vamos a coger... Estupendo. Esa morfina. Oral morfine. A glass vial with a dozen red pills. I didn't know morfine also came in this form. I thought I'd need to look for a liquid solution in a syringe. That's a relief. Es todo un alivio. Vale, no vemos mucho más. Uh, Destatado mueble con cajones. Vale, parece que podemos investigarlo. Algo interesante. Algo interesante. Polvo, papeles. Y una llave pequeña, estupendo. Que esta llave nos va a venir para el pasillo. Digo yo, vamos. Pero recordáis que había una taquilla en el pasillo que que necesitaba una llave. Vale, uh, no parece que haya nada más. La enfermera, Uma, que ya no nos cuenta nada más. Uh, basura y colillas. Hombre, después de llevar meses encerrados aquí, sabéis, imaginaos. Un póster. More that official propaganda. Your silence is the enemy. Help the cleanup brigades. Is the slogan of this poster. Casi nada. Sistema de ventilación. Bancos. Vale, tenemos aquí. No, no parece que podamos, me refiero a interactuar en el sentido de sí, podemos mirar y tal, pero no podemos tocar nada. I get the impression that everything in here could fall apart at any moment. Maybe in solidarity with those poor unfortunates screaming in the main hall. Aquí abierta. And like his neighbors, this door is hanging open. All I see inside are remnants of stickers and torn photographs. It looks like someone left in a hurry, without even saying goodbye. Me recuerda a la taquilla de mi trabajo. <risa> Estaba literalmente lleno de fotografía, bueno, de fotos, de recortes y de fotos y tal, y, y um, pegatinas, básicamente. Bueno, pues no parece que haya mucho más por aquí, o sea que podemos salir. Vamos a salir al pasillo y vamos a ver si podemos utilizar la llave pequeña en la taquilla que encontramos. Bien, estupendo, ese sonido horrible realmente. Uh, vale. Bingo. Vale, cajón de madera y test de enfermedad. No hay nada más, no. I see a yellow bucket in here with medical waste, with a handful what seem to be tests for detecting the dissolved. Vale, podemos coger alguno. I'm not going to take any. A small red no. LED is blinking on all of them, an unmistakable sign that they've been used. Mm, vale, ya está usado. Obviamente los necesitamos para nada. Vale, a ver qué hay en este cajón. Cajón, una especie de móvil, archivos y una identificación. Informe sobre el medicamento. Es un internal army memo para el hospital médico. El reporte habla sobre la falta de desarrollar una cura para el disolved. Y lo que es aún peor, la decisión de finalmente abandonar la búsqueda para uno. Vale, un informe. Tenemos una credencial. Es el ID que permite a las brigadas de cleanup entrar y salir del hospital en sus ambulancias macabras. De lo que puedo ver, 
The army can pump you full of lead if you try to come through the gate without one of these. Hombre, realmente a nosotros tampoco es que no sea muy útil. Quiero decir, nosotros ya tenemos nuestra propia entrada. Un localizador. One of the cleanup brigades forms. This is the device they use to navigate during their raids. Sort of like an electronic map. It looks like some satellites are actually still working after the Great Wave. Something I could easily confirm if this contraption had batteries in it. Bien, hay algo por aquí. Uh... Cajón de madera. A rather large plywood crate. It used to hold some of the cleanup brigade's work tools. Estupendo. This confirms what this document constitutes a death sentence for all victims. Vale, eh, el test de enfermedad no podíamos cogerlo, el carrito con ruedas. Eh... Cerramos. Better not. Going... Y no podíamos salir por la puerta. Vale, pues nada, salimos. Estupendo. Oh, vamos a salir de aquí, de verdad, eh. Por favor, salir de aquí. Salir de aquí, tío. Sitio horrible. Parece que es una alarma. Puede que... Obviamente puede que nos hayan detectado. ¿Verdad? Nos detectaron. Vamos a tener visita. No, sí. Quiero probar una cosa. Yo sigo con, la, con los peces, ¿eh? Los peces se caerían entre las rendijas que dejan los historias de madera. Vale, yo sigo con los peces, sigo lo mío. Y si cogemos la bolsa... Ya. Obvio. Pues nada, peces, ahí os quedáis. Pero os aseguro que en algún momento vendré por vosotros. Os recordaré, no me olvidaré de vosotros. Os lo aseguro. Obviamente debió ser el, el toque de queda, supongo. Cierto, el toque de queda. A small group of Reverend Blake's followers are keeping his sister company, heads bowed and dispirited. A que la lió el padre. ¿Cuántos va a que la lió el padre? She meditates in silence, resigned and exhausted, considering the mental state of Reverend Blake. I guess it falls to her to take care of him night and day. Cuando le entregamos la piedra, mmm, se fue corriendo y a que lo cazaron... A que no volvió. A que lo cazaron la, el ejército y está en, metido en el, en el campamento. Date. A que está en el campamento. He simply ran out of the door, completely out of control. I've never seen him so upset, and we haven't heard anything from him since. I just know that something terrible has happened to him. My brother is very sick, and he shouldn't be out there alone and unprotected. I fear the worst. Calm down. There's no reason to think that anything has happened to him. I have a feeling that something awful has happened. I'm sure of it. Besides, the soldiers have already called the curfew. If they find him on the street alone and lost, in his condition, my brother is a very beloved and respected person. But those beasts don't care who he is. I understand. We have to get off the street. Please, if you see my brother, tell him to come home. Tell him we're waiting for him. Of course. I'll do that. Vale. O sea que el padre obviamente ha desaparecido. Uh... Salió cuando perdió, cuando habló, le dimos la piedra, eh, recordad que dejó la, la, esa vara, esa, bueno, ese pedazo de madera, y salió como yendo, quería ir a los restos, ¿no? A, a esos restos donde habíamos conseguido la piedra. O sea que, mmm, o una de dos, o se encuentran en el campamento o están aquí los restos. Vale, ¿podremos hablar con el padre de Uma? No, obviamente no. Pensé que íbamos a poder entrar de alguna manera, pero no. No, 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 no. Bueno, pues nada, vamos hacia el campamento. Uh, vale No podemos ir hacia aquí ni hacia aquí Solamente podemos ir hacia aquí Pues nada, adentro the camp is closed, rat. Get away from the gate. ¿Qué? But I have to come in. It's urgent. What happened? There's no understanding you worms Always wanting to get out of here Once you're outside You're dying to get back in 
One of our soldiers was killed, and the camp will remain closed until the matter is cleared up. So take a hang. Uf, me llama marrón, tío. Yeah. Espero, espero no haber emborronado a los críos, eh. Encima ha muerto, tío. Uf, vaya pifia, tío. Vaya pifia con los críos. Pero nunca confiamos en el testimonio de un rat. Así que esperamos para los criminales para confesar o para la muerte de un rat. Esperamos para la aparición del arma de delito. Ostras, no fastidies, tío, que le va a pasar a los críos. Encontrar el arma. Uf, Michael, vaya cagamos de liar, tío. Pero son solo un par de niños asustados. ¿No ves eso? ¿Qué planeas hacer con ellos? Killing an official is punishable by death, and martial law is quite clear in this respect. They acted as adults, and they will pay for their actions as adults. As soon as they confess, or we find the weapon they used to commit the crime, we will take care of matters. Do you have a problem with the law being enforced? Do you have a problem with the law being enforced? You're nothing but a gang of warped psychopathic pigs. One more word and I'll blow your head off right now, bastard. I couldn't care less what privileges that bracelet might give you. Get out of my sight. Those pigs are going to kill the boys, and it'll be my fault. I'll be responsible for their deaths. I can't let that happen. I have to do something and fast. But what? Buf, vaya marrón, tío. Vaya marrón a los críos, tío. Uh... Debo sacar a los hijos del topo del aprieto en el que les he metido No pienso dejar que sus críos mueran por mi culpa ¿Y ahí, qué hacemos ahora? Eh, Podremos entregarles el tirachinas Y decir, oye, que hemos ido nosotros No, no quiero dispararles Quiero entregárselo No, 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 no. Es esto si jugamos esto con esto Vale, parece buena idea Pero no podemos, vale, entiendo um, ¿Utilizar la cizalla? Ah, oh, venga eh, ¿Atacarles? Nada Nada, nada, nada Darles el tirachinas a los niños No, no, no encima no puedo ni marcarlos uh, ¿Atacarles con el cristal? Joder, Michael, me lo pones muy difícil, ¿eh? eh ¿Morfina? ¿Darles morfina? Uh, vamos, 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 vamos uh, No Vale, o sea que no uh, Dar la credencial, esto no va a valer para nada. No, tío, no vale para nada. No, 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 no vale para nada, tío, no vale para nada. La morfina. No. Um... Atacarles. Vale, no sé qué hace que hacer aquí ahora mismo, tío. Vale, no tengo ni idea aquí ahora mismo qué puedo hacer, tío. Porque dicen que. Eh, cuando esos mocosos confíen su crimen O hayamos encontrado el arma Es que quiero entregar el arma Pero no sé cómo Entregar el arma, tío No, no, no Obviamente aquí si les intento dar el, ar el arma Lo que hago es como El juego detecta como que quisiera Atacarles, tío, pero no bueno, de momento parece que los críos no les hacen daño. Vamos a seguir con la trama del padre Blake. Wait a minute. There's something floating in the pit. But I can't see what it is from up here. Buah, es el padre Blake, es el padre Blake fijo. Fijo, es que es, sí, sí, es, un down, es un cuerpo, tío. I'll leave the heavy stuff here. In es un case the rope doesn't support my weight. Va a estar muerto, tío. Va a estar muerto, ¿verdad, Padre Blake? Está usted muerto, ¿verdad? Jesus, it's the corpse of Reverend Blake. Date. His neck is broken. Tiene el cuello roto por su delirio de ver una cuerda que al árbol y se tiró abajo, ¿no? Vale. Ah, oh, no, 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 no,
Those bastards in uniform are going to execute the boys. For God's sake. Oye, una cosa, una cosa, una cosa. Bueno, vamos a coger aquí. Y si le marca, y si le metemos el marrón al, al padre. Tarjeta de visita. Estás de desterrado. Beachwood Oracle, lo que vimos en la en la visión. 24 Mamets Wood Street. Eh, que lo que os decía, si le marronamos el... ¿Cómo? ¡Ay, estupendo, tío! Le, mar le marronamos el... Le metemos el marrón al... al... Vale. Quiero decir... La cosa es enmarronarle la, el, el, la muerte del, del cerdo, bueno, del, 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 del ejército, al padre. Pero claro, él dice que es muy conocido y que a lo mejor no se lo tragan. Vale, la bolsa no podemos usarla. Digo, si lo metemos en la bolsa de cadáveres, no. Vale, tarjeta, no, no, no. Hydrofluoric acid. According to Nurse Uma, it's what they use to be able to make it. Esto puede valer. Esto puede valer. Si. Es que lo primero que tenía pensado era meterlo en la bolsa, a ver si podíamos. La bolsa, esa bolsa enorme de cadáveres. Pero obviamente no vale porque la dejamos arriba. Que sí, que sí, no me presiones, Michael. Funciona, funciona, tío Funciona Es desfigurarle para enmarronarle el, el, el tema, tío Buah, esto va a ser muy hard Parcialmente desfigurado. I've disfigured his face, but not enough. Ostras, no me fastidies que más podemos hacer, tío Uf, Cortarle la cara Con el cristal Oh, Dios Oh, Dios Brutal, eh Joder, brutal escena, tío Brutal escena, eh Al parecer, eh, Michael eh, Puede que fuera un tipo Conflictivo, hubiera alguna situación Pues con su esposa, veis que vimos ese arma Algo, algo horrible Ocurrió y obviamente Michael tiene miedo de mirar atrás y ver qué, qué se encuentra. Pero bueno, viendo aquí lo que le acaba de hacer el amigo el padre Blake, pobre hombre. No time for guilt. Sí, es obvio, nada, a ver, bueno. Well, quiero decir, sí, es algo horrible. Es algo horrible. Es algo horrible, sí. Pero bueno, el hombre estaba muerto. Tampoco es que le importe mucho, supongo, ¿sabéis? Uh, bien, el cuaderno. Santo Dios, esos disparos y la voz que me despertó llorando e implorándome. 
Puede que... No sé, a lo mejor en la pareja hubiera una tercera persona y eso hizo que... Que Michael, pues, se le fuera un poco la olla. Vale, nada, nos vamos. Nos vamos aquí. Nos vamos aquí ya, amigos. Poco tenemos que hacer. Lo dicho, eh, por salvar a los niños, son los niños que marronamos Oye, nosotros maestro. mismos. Y eh, además... Eh, que es un... El tío está muerto, ¿sabéis? Que tampoco es que sea... El tipo la, la diñó. Ya está, no hay más. No hay más. No hay más, queridos amigos y amigas. Bueno, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a guardar por si acaso después de... <risa> después de dejar al, al bueno del padre Blake completamente deformado. <risa> vamos a hablar con el guardia. You have to let those boys go. They're innocent. You've got the wrong people. What are you insinuating, rat? You better have a good reason for saying something like that, or we'll splatter your brains all over the wall of shame, and then use the kids for target practice. I know who the guilty party is. I know who committed the crime. Dios lo and tenga en su gloria. Hey, we've got to hear this. Start talking, rat. Okay. Let's go. Here goes. I hope those pigs take the bait, because if they find out the truth, I'm a dead man. The murderer was a deranged man I met in the city a few hours ago. He told me he was desperate, tired of the humiliation and violence he had to face every day. He was determined to do something crazy. I didn't believe him at the time, but now I see that he wasn't kidding. After the attack, he committed suicide by jumping into the cesspit next to the camp road. You'll find him there. His face is unrecognizable from pinning the rocks and scraping against the rubble. But I'm sure you'll find the murder weapon next to his body. Hmm. We'll check out your story and see if it holds up. We're approaching what looks like a body. It looks like that worm was right. Over. Ugh, what a mess. What the hell happened to his face? Meh, who cares? Again, importa. We found the guilty party with the murder weapon. Let those kids go. Buena, tío, buenísima. Conseguimos que liberara a los niños, de verdad. Ah, estupendo. Estupendo. Lo primero. Vamos a ir hacia aquí. Vamos a ver cómo se encuentran los niños y vamos a dar la morfina a Misha. La madre del topo. Que nos dé dinero, por favor. Vale, vamos a ver si están los niños aquí atrás. Llevamos la camisa un poco sucia y tal, de sangre, ¿eh? Hello, Michael. Hey, ¿qué pasa, chicos? ¿Viste a los niños ahí con los soldados? Estaban apuntando sus armas a nosotros, pero no nos escuchamos a ti. Somos dos hombres fuertes, fuertes, fuertes. ¡Qué grandes! ¿No nos escuchamos? Bueno, nos intentamos un poco. ¡Shut up! Por supuesto que estás. Estoy orgulloso de ti. When you're grown up, everyone will know that you two can be trusted. Grown up? But that's not going to be for a long time. Yeah, besides, our mom says that's not gonna happen. There's no future for anyone. Not for us either. Don't pay any attention to what people say. You should only worry about taking care of each other. Eso that's the cierto. only thing that matters now. Eso okay? cierto. I gotta get going. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, Michael. Qué majetes los niños, tío. Qué majetes. Muy majetes, sí, señor. Muy majetes. Bueno, señora. A ver, la morfina, aquí está. I brought the morphine for your husband, just as I promised. This woman in this house gave me the chills. Let's get this over with as soon as possible. So you've come for your money. Is that it, you rat? You offered it to me. I didn't ask for anything in return. No, you're right. Yeah, I guess you've earned it. That's what we agreed. I'm an honest woman. I think you have a very wrong impression of me. Take your money, Michael. All right. Estupendo. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other around the camp. Wait, Michael. Is it money that you want? I have more money. I still have some savings. Those camp rats didn't manage to take it all. I'm sure we can figure something out. I don't understand. My husband is about to die. Without him, we'll be nobodies. Me and the kids. The soldiers don't even show us any respect anymore. A while ago, they broke in here to take them away with no explanation. And it didn't matter to them in the least whose children they were. But if you stay here, all that could change. I still have some contacts. I could arrange for you to become the new Camp Mo. You're not like the rest of those rats out there, Michael. You're one of us. We'd be important again. We'd keep our privileges. Or do you want to be just another beggar in this sewer? I can't lower myself to that. I'd do anything. Stay here with us, Michael. No. 
I don't doubt for a second that this woman would be capable of anything, like a cornered scorpion. I don't think that would be a good idea. It would be better for me to leave. Take good care of those boys. They're good kids. Yeah, get out of here, you disgusting rat. You're all alike. In this camp, all you rats are alike. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. You're just waiting to see us fall. But I won't give you the satisfaction, you disgusting rats. I'll do what I have to do. But you won't see me crawling around in the trash like you. A cornered scorpion, surrounded by flames that are closing in. I think it would be best not to speak to this woman ever again. She could be dangerous. Adiós, Misha. Cuídate y sobre todo cuida a los niños, eh, que valen muchísimo más que tú. Te lo digo. Miedito que da esta señora. Bueno, lo importante. Tenemos el dinero. Tenemos el dinero para ir a ver a Rose. O sea que vamos a dirigirnos hasta aquí. Vamos a coger esto y vamos a dar esto. Ahí os va. Hey, this is a lot of dough, pal. So, is it enough? More than enough. This will get you into Rose's van for the rest of the night. All you can eat. <laughs> Have a good time with our mini mouse, but be careful with the merchandise. You know how it works. You break it, you buy it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Hostia, cascazo dais, amigos, de verdad, eh. Uf, dais un ascazo terrible, de verdad. Hello, Mr. Sleepyhead. You came back. Hello, Rose. Pobrecilla, Are you here tía. to save me? Have you brought me my baby? They won't let me leave here to look for him. And he's all I have left in the world. I don't have anyone else. Will you help me? That's why you came back, isn't it? Or did you come back for the other thing? Do you want me to take off my clothes and lie down on the mattress? <sighs> Pobrecilla, tía. You said you don't have anyone. Where is your family? I don't know, Mr. Sleepyhead. The last time I saw them was when that great wave came. They said they were leaving, but that they'd come back to find me. And then they left me alone with my baby. They told me they'd only come back if I took good care of him. If I held him and rocked him to sleep, like in the picture on the wall. Did you see my baby and me in the picture, Mr. Sleepyhead? But someone took him while I was asleep. You see? I had this dream while those soldiers were hurting me. Do you like to dream, Mr. Sleepyhead? It depends on the dream, Rose. I dream about my baby a lot, sleeping in his little cradle. And I also dream about my room in the house I used to live in before the Great Wave. The sun came in through the window every morning and lit up everything. Sometimes it looked like the walls were going to catch fire. This room is darker. I don't like the dark. That's when they come and hurt me. And sometimes they lock me here in the dark. To punish me if I don't do what they say. Have you brought me my baby, Mr. Sleepyhead? The poor girl is more disturbed than I thought. Porcilla, dear. It looks like her mind hasn't been able to deal with all the Porcilla, pain of these last few months. Someone needs to get her out of here. No, Rose. I'm sorry. I haven't brought you your baby. Qué triste, dear. La verdad, eh? <sighs> no, I don't want you to lie down. Tell me, Rose. Why can't you leave here? It's because of them. They don't let me go any farther than that empty lot over there. They say I have to be ready in case a client comes. They only let me go see Rod and Colin in their trailer every once in a while. And why don't you run away? Those men are too scary, Mr. Sleepyhead. They yell at me and hit me if I don't do what they say. Sometimes they lock me in here in the dark for hours. And I'm afraid the soldiers will come back. They say they'll call them. And if I don't behave, they'll hurt me again. I'm so afraid of the dark. Aren't you? Colin is afraid of the dark too. Before he got sick, he told me. And now they won't let me see him anymore. I like the light better. Do you like the lights in my room, Mr. Sleepyhead? Yes, they're very pretty, Rose. It's like it's Christmas every day, isn't it? But the one who scares me most is the hunter. He's always ordering everyone around with a voice like an angry lion. He even gives orders to those men outside. He's like a horrible big dog about to bite you. I get the shivers every time he comes to visit me. But I like your voice very much, Mr. Sleepyhead. You sound like a knight in a fairy tale. 
And I'm your princess. Pobrecilla, tío. Quiero hablar contigo, Rose. Me dijeron que tenías que contarme un secreto. Necesito escucharlo. Like to to you, Rose. You told me you had a secret to tell me. I need to hear it. Yes, Mr. Sleepyhead. I know a secret about you. It's something very important, but I'm not going to tell you. ¿Por qué? Why not? Because you haven't brought me my baby. I asked you to help me and you haven't done it. I want to hold my baby again and rock him to sleep. Aren't we friends anymore, Mr. Sleepyhead? Yes, of course we're still friends. But Rose, please. I need to know what it is. No nos la va a decir hasta que le traigamos a su okay. niño. I'll give you a clue. Es un acertijo. I have something of yours from before the great wave. It's the key for you to lock and unlock your chest of dreams, you sleepy bear. But I won't give it to you unless I can hold my baby again. The key to my chest of dreams? I don't know what the devil she's talking about. But if it's something from before the great wave, no doubt it could help me recover my past. Rose, I don't have time for games. Give me whatever you have, please. No, no. You have to help me first. Nada, no quiere, no quiere Fede. Tráeme a mi niño. I want to rock him to sleep again, like in the picture on the wall. Have you seen the picture of my baby and me? It was taken before the great wave. I have no one else. I need my baby. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Hey, pal. You can have a good time with our Minnie Mouse, but don't mess up the merchandise. Don't make us come in there. You know how it works. You break it, you buy it. All right, Rose. All right. Calm down. Goodbye, Rose. I should be going now. No. Don't go. Please. Will you help me, Mr. Sleepyhead? Will you bring me my baby? And will you bring me a cradle like this one in the picture? Be my knight in shining armor. Bring me what I ask and I'll La llave que abre el baúl de tus sueños. To unlock your chest of dreams. I'll try, Rose. I promise. Bien, veamos. Uh, vamos a echar un vistacillo a la habitación de Rose. Veamos. Uh, página sucia y arrogada. Ah, es... It's a page turned out of a very old magazine. Es una revista. Delirium. Poor Rose thinks it's a photograph of her and her baby Pobre taken filla, before the great wave. Pobrecilla, tía. From the mother's hairstyle and outfit, the photo looks like it comes from some magazine from the 50s or 60s. Besides... I swear that these rocking cradles went out of style a long, long time ago. Pobrecilla, tío. Pobrecilla. Montón de ropa. It's the pile of rags Rose is saving for her baby. When winter comes, my baby will get cold. That's what she said. It would break Rose's heart to see me stealing her baby's clothes. I'm not going to do that to her. This is the poor girl's place of business. It was probably dragged here from one of those heaps of trash out there. Vale, habla de una cuna. Uh, puede que sea una caja de madera, me refiero. Puede que sea la caja de madera la cuna. This plastic bag is designed to hold the remains. Nah. Puede. Lo primero que se me viene a la cabeza, que la caja del de, cajón de madera pues pueda usar, ser usado como cuna. Barf. I can see bed bugs crawling over the mattress from here. That explains the bites on Rose's face and arms. Pobrecilla, tía, pobrecilla, pobrecilla. Qué hijos de la gran puta, tía. Lo siento, eh, pero es que me pongo mal, tía. There's makeup scattered at the foot of this mirror. I suppose those savages out there force Rose to put on makeup to make herself look older than she really is. <sighs> Malditos desgraciados, tía. A string of Christmas lights is the only source of light in this room. The reflections of the colors make this place seem even gloomier and more sordid. I doubt this belongs to Rose. I suppose that after installing the lights in the ceiling, those poker addicts left this old toolbox here. Puede que haya algo dentro. Oh, me gusta. Ah, un berbiqui. Vale, tenemos un berbiqui. From what I see, the only useful tool inside this box is a hand drill. Me lo llevo. A hand drill, perfect for making holes in hard surfaces. In a world without electricity. This is the only way to do it. Hmm. Must be some leftover Christmas lights that are being used to decorate this room. Bien. Y un cable. Cable con luces fundidas. A string of lights with every single one of its bulbs smashed. I'd say this is a present by the ghost of Christmas yet to come. 
Vale, estupendo. ¿Alguna cosilla más? La caja, abrimos y cerramos. No hay nada más por aquí. Luces de Navidad, el espejo. Uh, no hay nada más por el suelo. La puerta, la página. Es Rose. Y está esperando que me traiga a su bebé de vuelta. El único problema es que no creo que esta pobre y balanceada mujer haya sido una madre. ¿Cómo voy a hacerlo? ¿Un muñeco? ¿Tal vez un muñeco? ¿Y estos desgraciados qué? ¿Eh? Leaving us so soon? <laughs> hey, you're quick, pal. So, how'd our little mouse do? Desgraciado, Ross me ha contado cómo la maltratáis y la prostituís. Así que este negocio es en realidad otro de los chanchullos del cazador. Ross me ha hablado de un niño, de su hijo. ¿Sabéis dónde estoy, cómo puedo encontrarlo? Vamos a hablar con ellos primero de Dwight y luego les faltamos. Rose was talking to me about a baby, her son. Do you know where he is or how I can find him? That little mouse's mind is gone. I wouldn't pay much attention to what she says. Hey, as far as I know, her entire family died in the Great Wave. After the explosion, she wandered around in a daze for weeks until she finally ran into a group of drunken soldiers who wanted Pobre to, you know, idea. have some fun with her. When we found her, all she had left was that wrinkled old magazine clip Pobre clutched idea. in her hand. It's her pride and joy. Now she's got it stuck up on the wall of the van. And as far as the baby's concerned, pero cómo sois tan desgraciados, tío. Cómo dais tantísimo asco, de verdad, tío. Pobrecilla, la encuentran después de haberla violado, tío. Es que, es que dais un asco, cabrones. Oh, me pongo malo, tío. In exchange for a percentage, of course. Fair is fair. Yeah, fair is fair. Of course, no doubt. I just hope that someday those bastards find themselves face to face with some of that fairness. Ojalá, ojalá y sea pronto. Wherever it might come from. Desgraciado, Rose me ha contado cómo la maltratáis y la prostituís. You two are despicable. Rose told me about how you abuse and prostitute. I think we'll have to teach that naughty little girl how to keep her mouth shut. Don't jump to conclusions, pal. Let me tell you how we found that chatty little rodent. Since you're so interested in her, it was about four months ago. She was naked and injured, and she could hardly move. A group of soldiers had gang raped her and left her for dead. They left her body wrapped in barbed wire from the camp fence. Crows would have picked her clean if we hadn't found her when we did. ¿Y por qué no la tratáis como una persona, tío? Well... Not too bright, but for some jobs, that's almost a blessing, don't you think? What good Samaritans. Yeah, this. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you're catching on. I don't have anything else to discuss with you two. Okay, come back anytime you like. You paid for her. The door to the van is open to you all night long. Sé que podemos venir todas las veces que queramos. De verdad, tío, me dais muchísimo asquito, queridos amigos. Me dais un asquito, pero guay, eh. Tremebundo. Tremebundo. Me dais muchísimo asquito. Bueno, gente, pues hasta aquí vamos a dejar el capítulo de hoy de este de Synchronicity. Una pena realmente la historia de, de Rose, esta pobre niña, una niña realmente completamente trastornada. Y luego encima que ha, in, que ha caído en las garras de este par de, de, de bestias que realmente pues la prostituyen y, y abusan de ella, básicamente. Pues lo dicho, gente, eh, un verdadero placer disfrutar de esta terrible historia de Synchronicity con todos vosotros. Os invito a continuar la serie aquí en el canal y sin más me despido. Like y favorito si os gustó, dislike si no os gustó, dejar en comentarios que, lo que queráis. Como siempre digo, pues me encanta vuestro feedback, vuestros comentarios, vuestras preguntas, vuestras dudas. Y nos vemos de nuevo en Dead Synchronicity. Un saludo para todos, paz. Cuidaos.